Hello friends, I along with my assistant Snail welcome you all at Math for Juniors. Oh Snail, how can you sleep while you're standing? Uh, I was not sleeping. I was just meditating. You know, I saw it in a movie that meditation helps improve your concentration. Good, but now come back to math. Okay. What's that in your hand, Snail? Oh, this is just a new keychain. I really like the shape. Hmm. Can you tell me what shape is it? Come on, think like a super comp. Quick. Uh, it looks like a parallelogram. Ah, oh, you are right to some extent, but not completely. This shape is called a rhombus. A uh, rhombus? Yes, a rhombus is a parallelogram whose adjacent sides are equal. See here in this keychain, this shape occurs quite frequently in real life. In the southern sky, there is constellation which is called reticulum. It's in the shape of rhombus. Don't worry snail, we'll take a quick tour to the virtual world and see how a rhombus is constructed that will help you understand this shape. Construction of a rhombus when length of its diagonals are given. Suppose you have to construct a rhombus the lengths of whose diagonals are 12 cm and 9 cm. Let's assume that A, B, C, D is the rhombus to be constructed where length of A, C is 12 cm and length of B, D is 9 cm. Let's start with the construction now. Draw a line segment whose length is equal to one of the diagonals say A, C equal to 12 cm. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Thus, to locate the other diagonal BD, construct the perpendicular bisector of AC that is XY to intersect AC at O. Since AC is the perpendicular bisector of BD, point O is the midpoint of BD. Thus, with O as the center and radius equal to half BD, that is 4.5 cm. Mark an arc to cut XY at point D and another arc on the opposite side to intersect XY at point B. Join AB, BC, CD, and DA to obtain the required rhombus A, B, C, D. Ooh, what a lovely shape! Is this a gift for me, Miss Max? Why should I shower you with gifts, especially looking at your pace of learning, huh? Oh, I'm not that slow, ma'am. I just like to take my time. You know, like Harry Potter does before performing a spell. Harry Potter? Oh, snail. Anyways, if you want, you can win this beautiful kite. Really? How? Well, for that, you need to tell me what shape is this. Come on, power on. You can hit the goal this time. Oh, yes, I remember. It looks like a rhombus. No, you're not right here. You know every rhombus is a kite, but not every kite is a rhombus, hmm? Uh, can you explain that again, please? Okay. See, a kite is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of equal adjacent sides. Also, if you recall, what's a parallelogram, huh? A parallelogram has opposite sides, parallel and equal. That's right. So, any quadrilateral that is both a kite and a parallelogram is a rhombus. So, now you got it. Why every rhombus is a kite but not the other way round? Yeah, a bit. But tell me, how do we construct a kite? 
Oh, that's simple. If the length of two consecutive sides and a diagonal of a kite is given, you can easily construct the kite. First, draw the diagonal whose length is given. Then, taking that diagonal as the common base, draw two isosceles triangles on the opposite sides of that diagonal. Now, let's get back to the construction of rhombus. Let's get into the virtual world for that. Construction of a rhombus when lengths of one of its sides and a diagonal are given. Suppose you need to construct a rhombus when length of one of its sides is 5 cm and that of one of its diagonals is 8 cm. Let's assume that ABCD is the rhombus to be constructed such that the length of side AB is 5 cm and that of diagonal AC is 8 cm. Since rhombus is a parallelogram whose adjacent sides are equal, the lengths of BC, CD and DA is equal to the length of AB that is 5 cm. Mm -hmm. Snail, you are again eating. If you keep eating at this pace, you will soon burst like a balloon. Mm -hmm. Oh no ma'am, I was not eating. I was just looking at the shape of this chocolate. See, isn't it a rhombus? Hmm, yes I can see that this chocolate is in the shape of a rhombus. And I can also see the chocolate that you have on your face. <laughs> oh, I ate just one. Now I want you to concentrate completely on math snail, please. And if you go back to eating once again, I will lock you in a room for three days without food. Do you understand? Now let's zoom into the virtual world and see how exactly to construct the rhombus when lengths of its one side and a diagonal are given. Now let's start with the construction. First, draw a line segment whose length is equal to the diagonal AC. The diagonal AC divides the rhombus ABCD into two isosceles triangle ABC and ACD. To obtain triangle ABC, you need to locate point B. Thus with radius equal to AB and A as center, draw an arc. Since AB is equal to BC, draw another arc from center C with same radius to intersect the previous arc at point B. Now to obtain a triangle ADC, you need to locate a point D. Thus with C as center and radius equal to CD, Draw an arc opposite to point B. Since AD is equal to CD, draw another arc from center A and same radius to intersect the previous arc at point D. Join AB, BC, CD and DA to obtain the rhombus a, B, C, D. Using this method, you can construct any rhombus whose lengths of one side and a diagonal are given. So Snail, now you know how to construct a rhombus, right? Oh yes, I know how to draw those beautiful shapes. I was thinking the bakers should learn geometry and then they can make cakes of different shapes. Imagine chocolate muffin of rhombus shape. Banana cake in a triangular shape. Mm -hmm. How about a lozenge shaped pastry? Lozenge? What is that? Let's check that in our Do You Know section. 
do you know about lozenge and lozenge camouflage? Lozenge refers to a thin rhombus, a rhombus with acute angles of 45 degrees. The lozenge shape is often used as decoration on ceramics, silverware and textiles. During the First World War, the Germans developed lozenge tarnung, also known as lozenge camouflage. I just love these different shapes. I actually wanted to ask, what is this lozenge camouflage? During the early stages of Great War, the Germans were looking for a way to effectively camouflage their aircrafts so that the enemy troops couldn't identify it. Thus, to camouflage the aircraft, they used four or five polygons of different colors on its body. Wow! That was smart, Miss Marx, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Hey, it's time for a quick memory jog. So why don't we take a quick sprint and come back soon? In this module, we have learnt to construct a rhombus when lengths of its diagonals are given. And to construct a rhombus when lengths of one of its sides and diagonal are given. That's all on construction of rhombus today. I hope you're able to identify more rhombuses around you in the real world. Snail, since you've been so attentive, can you give our friends an example here? Uh, oh, oh, yes, I can give one example. We all play cards, right? Remember the diamond cards among the suit of cards. The shape of the diamond on it, it is a rhombus. That's a good example, Snail. And for the first time, something not related to food or movies. <laughs> well, you two carry on having fun with more geometrical figures. Till the next time, we meet. Goodbye. Goodbye.